here on the first day. This heat featuring the sophomore from Kentucky, Ty Brown. Damian Thomas with a good start in lane four. Sam Brixey in lane two down. There goes some carnage. Ackendale of Houston is out of it. Damian Thomas has got the heat to himself, but out on the outside, Jer Jamar Marshall of Arizona State coming up hard at the end. Might have gotten that. So now let's see what happens. Ty Brown at 13.68. That beats the bubble time, so he will advance. Position down into lane two. This is Kentucky junior Dwight St. Hilaire. We see Stewart make his patented comeback from behind with 150 meters to go. Jonathan Sawyer of Southeastern Louisiana was in it, but no longer. Stewart now taking control of the finishing stretch. Godwin trying to hang on for second, but it looks like Dwight St. Hilaire is going to overhaul him and get that second automatic qualifying position. Third finish. Belay in eight, Lang in nine. And found Belay with a terrible start once again. Lang running well out in nine. Eric Harrison of Ohio State's there in seven. And Southern Cal's Devon Burnett, who has already qualified through in the hundred. Now lead, but here comes Fambole. Look at him. Long strides. Had plenty of time to recover from that start. He wins it. Very casual finish for Devontae Burnett. Here's the University of Kentucky that will start in lane number six. They are the reigning SEC championships, and they were the runners up indoors at the NCAA championships. Be trying to get back in this one with Lance Lang. USC, Florida, Kentucky. And well, Dwight did a good job there, just moving out to lane two and running completely in his own lane. He could have, so easy sometimes to lean into the guy on the inside lane, but he ran himself clear. Now he can hit the straight and move into that first position. But I do five team race. USC, Stephen F. Austin making a room trying to overhaul Kentucky. They're not gonna be able to do it, but they do finish third. So